Okay, we're back with part two of chapter seven, the reinforcements. Um, again, this is another chapter where, you know, I may die. I may die multiple times. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to post all of them if I do. I'm going to just go ahead and post all of them. Just so you can truly experience the level of fail that I produce as a farmer. God damn it, do you see what I just, did you see that? I hope you saw that, where I meant to have Priscilla heal Kent, forgot that I had already healed him, and rescued him by accident. God, what is... I'm just disappointed in myself now. Like, I'm just... This is just... This is sad. Ella, would you stay on the fort? Uh, Farina, you come down here with Heath. Yeah, you can see the screen completely goes bonkers when the reinforcements arrive. I think it's because, like, the camera tries to follow them, but it can't or something? I don't know. It just seems to completely bork the thing up and produce graph glares, then immediately leave. Which is why I think it has to do with the camera's focus. Uh oh Louise is mostly just... I should send her down to deal with the pegs, but then there'll be no one to deal with the wyvern. I guess I'll... Louise can survive another turn. Uh, if only I could take an action after having moved, but I can't. I mean, after having, you know, done the rescue in... Uh, Carla! Yeah, your avoid is the same with the iron sword. Why the heck not? So just keep dealing with the pegs here, getting everybody experienced but the people who really probably need the most, a.k.a. Louise. And hopefully those... X dudes will come and Carla can get some X. Oh god, now Guides is dying. This is just this is just a clusterfuck of fail with me. And, and more graph close. I think again it's because the screen, if the camera like goes over here when the reinforcement appears, but the screen can't go high enough. Something like that. Does that sound like it makes sense? Seems like it kind of does. Okay, we need to pull Guides back because he's dying. And then he can... Where did this mercenary... I forgot that he spawned. I didn't remember that. And I guess Elwood was blocking him before, and that's why I didn't notice. This is... Yes, I don't remember when my own reinforcements spawn. I don't. I don't. And now I can't... God, I... This whole thing just... Not so good at this game. I'm just gonna admit that. Gonna admit that I've already admitted that multiple times, and I still am here expressing shock for how shitty I am at this game. I like I made the game, and I can't even. Am I just? I cannot express. <laughs> what is going? I'm gonna use a slim sword actually, because maybe she'll get a crit and actually kill something. You know, could be handy. Um, Elwood, why don't you try to do something about this asshole? Nah, it didn't work. Pegna is more dangerous, I judge. At least we can buy more shit. Oh, God, now she's dying. Oh, oh don't make me have to do this over. <laughs> don't make me suffer. From Whoa, look at this. Look at all the pirates. See, this is what I mean. I mean, we're really concentrating on keeping the Pegasuses and Wyverns from spawning because basically they're just more dangerous. Like, getting swarmed by pirates, that's not so bad. They pretty much can't hit us. Whereas getting swarmed by Pegasuses, we cannot protect our dudes. We would die. Oh, now more of these assholes are spawning. This is just... Well, Kent, that was a perfectly timed critical. That was exactly what was necessary. Thank you, Kent, for not being useless for once. I'm continuing to have some frustration at my various units, as you can see. Oh yeah, notice that uh, Louise is using the generic palette there. The reason, oh, we have some excellently timed criticals right now. These, there's just been a series of them right here, right now. Um, Ella would, it would not kill you to get another level. It really would not. Oh, he's lower on health than I thought he was. That's not good. Well, if, if, if he dies, it will be my own fault for not keeping track of that properly. My own damn fault. Um... This is frustrating because, well, next turn it will be solved, I guess, but Louise can't deal the finishing blow, and Raven will get himself half killed if he tries to deal the initial blow. So, yeah. 
Elwood does need some more levels because he's going to be important in the final level. Very important. Now Louise can get the kill and finally get her level. We stayed behind just to level these guys up. Well, speed isn't bad. <laughs> I've become just... Nino, I, I'm becoming resigned to this... The inevitability of this. Oh, units, why are you doing this to me? He, are you are you kidding? This is what's happening. Why is it happening? Yes, that's the critical I wanted. Dart, keep with the murdering. Uh, he's doing quite good as well. Um, who needs levels more, Kent or Lynn? Both. Well, then they can share. Dive in the bushes and hit him with your sword. Yay. Uh, Priscilla. May as well do some healing. She's getting there. Quite good. Okay, uh, Ella would pull back and hide in a bush. That's what I tell you to do. I don't actually remember how long these reinforcements go on for. Oh, I guess that's it. Just till turn 10 or whatever. You know, you don't really need another level right now. Raven, you don't really either. So I'll just let that pirate catch up with us, pretty much. Um, Louise is going to come over and try and take some pot shots here. Dart is so close to another level that I'm thinking I might as well just... At least Carla can really profit here. Carla's having the profits. Is it... Wow, this is an unusually fast pirate, I must say. Lynn... It's time for the assist, because Lynn is quite a bit faster than Ella would. Like, just compare them. 14 versus 8. Speed, not his strong point. But he's pretty good, though. Yay, Priscilla! At least Priscilla didn't disappoint me. See other units? See? This is why I love her more. They just... Why do they disappoint me so much? But, uh... Well... We got Louise a level... And Carla will probably end up getting another one. So yeah, if I had positioned my units better, like had Louis near the pe near the Pegasus Knights, I could have gotten them a bit more experience. But I didn't, and this is what <laughs> the result of that is. Yeah, heel grinding Priscilla. Oh, she can't cross water, huh? Well, uh, nothing to do about that, I guess. Uh, this guy, he's just gonna wait till he's completely healed again, isn't he? I'm gonna send Raven to kill him. I'm not waiting for that asshole. No way. One of the other pilots fled to the island, do you see? They'll do that sometimes to go to the fort and heal. Can see how this tile... Yeah, they're just walking right over it. Because I put it in by accident. Now I can't remember if I explained that in this playthrough or a previous video that I didn't end up saving. Sometimes I do multiple ones if one of them is kind of shitty. I know, you can't tell from the quality of the videos. Wow, I, I forgot to time this one, too. Well, yeah, this is just a fail overall. Yay! That was an excellent level up. I think Carla's base is maybe slightly too high, honestly. When I compared it to Lynn, I was like, wow, she's maybe too good. Louise gets some exp. But, uh, was I saying something relevant at all before about any of them? Oh yeah, I yeah. She's using just the generic male. You know, this is a female Mer Myrmidon uh, map sprite in the little picture there, apparently. Oh no, that must be a Swordmaster sprite or something. I don't know. It looks female, but uh, Louise and Carla are using generic palette, and Carla's using the f male Mer Myrmidon sprite because um, inserting inserting sprites is. Uh, I'm not really that great at graphic stuff. So I did not attempt that. I felt the male one looks close enough, honestly. You know, she just looks particularly broad-shouldered today, I guess. And um, I also did not get around to doing palettes for them. I meant to. I, I, did, I had one for Raven that had been done some time ago. But uh, it was sort of time-consuming to do. And uh, by the time I got to this chapter where Louise and Carla appear... Uh, I was, my work, I, working on the hack was interrupted for a while. I'm checking everyone's items right now. And finally, I ended up just, uh, deciding not to bother with it. You know, it was kind of slowing down progress a lot. So I didn't. Okay, so I've got an extra bow. 
two swords, extra hand axe, uh, plenty of heals. Could use some extra axes, probably. Some extra just, yeah, like one more normal axe. Uh, fine on lances. Could use one more lance for Heath, really. Is everyone else? Yeah, so I'll get one, I mean, one more for Kent. One more lance for Kent, and I'll also pick up a spare axe. Oh, and a spare hand axe, because we're a short one. Hope he can fit all that. Actually, he needs a javelin, too. Can he... I'm just going to sell his whole night because I'm like... I really don't want to send someone else to shop. I know this is lazy and probably not great play, but whatever. Quickly check everyone's levels. I'm just taking my sweet time here, aren't I? Uh, Louise and Carl obviously the lowest. Lynn and Ellawood, uh, they fell behind a little. This could be bad in the next chapter. There's a tough, there's a tough spot at the beginning, which I may die more than once. Warning you right now. Yeah, that that guy's gonna be there a while, cause none of our units can actually walk on these sea tiles except Dart, I guess. But goodness knows he doesn't need another level. Like he really doesn't. He's at nine already. Does anybody need to heal while I'm at it? Eh, why not? Yay. Keep in mind, we're aiming to promote her. We get her promotion item in the next chapter, in fact, although she won't be ready yet. And I really prefer to promote units at level 20. You know, I just... It's the type of player I am, honestly. Oh, it's close to the level. That's not bad. And Louise gets some X. Okay, here we are at the end of the chapter. So, uh, gonna watch a cutscene here. And we've defeated everyone. Uh, yeah, at this point, Lundgren doesn't know what we're doing. They were just out for vengeance. And we know that because when he attacks, he'll send knights. Spoiler alert, we're going to be facing Kaelin knights in the near future. So, uh, we are now inside Freyan territory, and here's some Freyan knights to talk to us. There's a slightly different cutscene if uh, you didn't recruit them. Basically, Ella would, he, here he knows who they are. He's like, oh, you're those dudes. But if you didn't recruit them, he's like, who are you? It's a very minor difference. Uh, Carla's not very chatty. Except here. She's she's a suspicious one. She's basically like, you have to picture her going to like kill mode being like, you want to see Marcus? What? She's suspicious. But uh, he's an honest face. Louise, that's not a thing. But yes, Louise kind of calls everyone darling and sweetie. She's kind of sort of very affectionate and cutesy. But uh, this is when we show him the letter is the orders from the mercenary place signed by Lundgren. So now they have proof. And of course the Frey Knights are a little concerned about these shenanigans. Lundgren hiring dudes to attack Freyans. That's not okay. And they're going to take us to Lord Marcus. So yeah, it's, it's slightly a coincidence, but... I mean, it's completely a coincidence, but it's like, you know, whatever. It's fun. <laughs> and, you know, what I think about it, Elwood actually talks to the tactician much more than Lynn does, but it kind of makes sense, given how Lynn doesn't really like to talk about herself. So, yeah, whereas Elwood is much more of a friendly person. So here we are. I do this map for the cutscene. Um, and here's Lord Marcus. So in this big-ass cutscene, uh, I'm just going to say in the background, the map in the back, I originally designed it just for this cutscene, but then I thought, gee, you know, I have this map. I might as well make a guide in chapter and have it set on this map. Oh, I put these two. You can see I put them too close together so that one is kind of hiding behind the other here. Uh, I did this sometimes in cutscenes, and I did not remember to fix it in all of them. But anyway, Lord Marcus is very, you know, upright and noble, and his plan is he'll send them to Lord Uther and Ostra. And, uh... Uther is, you know, Ostris in charge of the Lycian League, so it's only natural that the dispute should be settled in this manner. See, the heroes are actually not going to settle this with violence. Well, they are, but they don't mean to. They want to settle it with, you know, law and order and due process. You know, they have proof of Lundgren's wrong action. They'll take it to the dude in charge of the Lycian League, and uh, he'll deal with it. So... I, I don't know, I really wanted the heroes to kind of take a course of action that 
because it just didn't make sense for them to try and go kill Lundgren or whatever. It really didn't. So I thought, you know, this is sort of the course of action that makes the most sense for them. They're, they're kind of using the tools at their disposal. But of course, reaching Austria would be difficult because Kaylin is sort of in the way. And Marcus is like, ha ha, but you won't go by land. You'll go on a boat. Kick ass. The thing is, I really wanted to have at least one level on a boat. You know, you have the ship tiles, and I really want to use them, so there's a boat level. And of course, see, the thing is, there's no real where else to stick him except in front of Marcus, so Marcus is like, oh, pirate in my face! Where did he come from? But, uh, yes, those pi- those, well, they're not pirates in this hack, but, uh, those sailors we met earlier, they're gonna help us out. Works out very nicely. So, uh, all of the characters that we meet actually do have kind of None of them are really completely random. They're kind of all, they link into the story somehow. So even the two, the two random dudes end up having an important role in the story. And he gives us two Ferengian knights who are lower level than we are. So it's like, thanks, Marcus. Really, thanks. But uh, he can't send many of his troops with him because, you know, they're just, Ferengian's not a very big territory, you know. It's, uh, he's got to keep the borders strong. So he basically dumps it all on the heroes. He's uh, he's not that helpful, but he sends his herald with us because you know the herald is like official, and that makes us legit. I guess he could have just given us a sealed letter, but that's not Marcus's style. That's not how he rolls. And of course, Ellawood still has no freaking clue who Uther is. He's like, who are all these people? He he's never left home before. This is the first time he's been down the mountain practically. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he's unconventional. I mean, it's Uther. He has to be. Oh, well, it's like, well, okay. But, uh, yeah, Lynn really, I think with her personality, she really wouldn't want to talk to Tactician too much. She's, she's reserved. She doesn't like to, you know, talk too much. But she's supportive. You know, she's like, and of course we accept the side quest. This side quest is a little unusual, though, I will say. Um... And we're going to see it next next pl- video. But uh, it's it's unusual, and you'll see why. But So that's crossing the border. You can see how you can either not get the reinforcements. We easily could have avoided them. If you don't know they're there, you'll probably avoid them just by accident from just killing all the dudes. Or you can get them. Um, they don't give you that many level ups, I guess, because they're not that strong. But it gives you a nice start, at least, with Louise and Carla. And I probably could have gotten more level ups if I had planned it a little better. But so you can see that chapter. And now our heroes have a new leg of their quest. They have to get to Uther and Ostia and present the evidence of Lundgren's treachery so that he can, uh, I guess it's not only treachery, it's just criminal behavior. I don't know. Inappropriate bandit hiring. And that he will help them. So that's the next leg of the journey. And we're going to see more of that in the next video.